Hello, people who like to watch other people play video games. My name is Ronkin, and welcome back to Let's Play Paradigm. We are stuck. <laughs> well, I'm not stuck. I just uh, we're working on a puzzle, and I'm honestly not really sure how to solve the puzzle yet. So we're just we're kind of dinking around. We're revisiting stuff. We just listened to some 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 sweet advertisements. I think we know what we need to do. We need to uh, we need to get the mannequin head, so we can make a sweet policeman. Um, and in order to do that, we have to find some way to make a cone fly, and I'm, I may be missing something? I really don't think we missed anything in here. Um, but we're, we gotta figure out how to make a, how do we, how to make a cone fly. Maybe we can talk to, maybe we can talk to John. Does John have anything new to say? I really like what you did. I think we, I think we just, want yeah. To we already talked to him about everything. Got a book that we can't pick up. There's records. Uh, hmm. I'm noticing this symbol a lot. There's like nine, nine boxes. We did get a phone number for uh, a Baba Yaga witch, which seems cool. Um, terminal. Can't do anything with this. Can we use the boiler dials? Alright. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else we can talk to Doug about? Later. Peace, bro. Right. Peace, bro. Okay, so far, not really sure. Not really sure what we're missing. Not a drug dealer's house. I really thought that observatory was gonna be the was gonna be it. Alright. I mean if we could launch that we could like stealing okay. All right. comatose man who happens to run a candy shop. Absolutely. Alright, alright, I think I think I think that, that seals it, so we're going to put the rocket on the raw launch pad and then put the cone on top of the rocket. It would have been nice if he made a hint that was like, I need something to put under it to propel it or something like that, but that's all right. That's all right. We'll get there. We're getting there. It is a good idea, but I think it would be way cooler to potentially see things. All right. Everyone uses that line, it's not rocket science. I've always wondered how it must feel for actual rocket scientists, you know? How many have <clears throat> broken down emotionally from hearing that joke so many times at dinner parties? No, that's paradigm asking, asking the real questions. Is there something inherently wrong launching something that the con has psychologically personified into ultimate destruction? Then ripping the head off his wife to trick a drug dealer into thinking I murdered a police officer? Most people would say yes. They probably would be right. As long as it's aware. As long as as long as he knows. <laughs> Fly, little cone. So majestic. the head off of his mannequin wife. Ugh, it looks like it has already been used by the cone. All right, I probably should not right. have clicked Finally, use. I can take your head. What the hell? It's not coming off. Detachable my ass. I need to get it off somehow. 
We use our. It's finally, my dreams are coming true. I get to sever a head with a serrated spoon. <laughs> wow, that only took me eight hours to cut through with the Krush army spoon. I was estimating that was ridiculous. Take that Swiss army knife. All right, and then we'll do a little. I'm kind of impressed by the Count's makeup skills. All right. Very own decapitated police head. Time to bring it to the drug dealer. Progress. Fake severed policeman head. Feels feels like we're making we're making waves. Oh, well, maybe we want to show it to the really camera or something. Just bring Hello. Uh, I've got the, the head now. C can I uh, <laughs> can I come in now? Impressive. Stand back a bit, and I'll open the gates. Well, come, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> See that? <laughs> it's like the gate is talking. You read Stephen King before, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> good one. Uh. Nights, nights, that was wonderful. Nights, 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 nights. Sir? Sir? Damn. I've been waiting here all day. Can you please see to us? It doesn't seem like you're doing anything. Hang on, I'm doing really secretary stuff. Ching, <laughs> ting, <laughs> All right, done. What do you need? I have a complaint. Complaint? Oh, wonderful. It's what I live for. Our son, our prodigy child that we bought on the 22nd of January 2016 is faulty. What do you mean, faulty? They aren't budget, no-name electronics that break, crushing your children's hopes and dreams on Christmas morning. They all say, why doesn't Santa love us, Mummy? Why did he give us broken presents? Should have just bought the official one, but no, you wanted to save a few bucks. He is faulty. All right, calm down, miss. What seems to be the problem? He... he... He wants to become an artist. Jesus Christ, Mom. I'm not an artist. I'm a two-dimensional <laughs> Oh, God, you see? He's tearing our family apart. <laughs> Faulty. All right, all right. We've seen this before. Can you please sign these papers? And if you don't mind, little Johnny, stand on that little circle thing over there. Hey, man. I don't conform to your ideal. <coughs> Go slay some dragons, you inconsiderate pig! What if I told you that over there, on the circle there, is a gluten-free mocha papito latte? Really? <laughs> I'm awfully sorry, miss. This has been a fault with the oldest line of prodigy children. Again, I apologize. Just sign the waiver here and we'll get you the replacement. What in the f what am I looking at? <laughs> Okay, so we got like a tiny dude riding on an old man. Uh, we got a big TV, a big CRT, like knob TV with a mega bro. Avoid reality system. Sometimes oh, I contemplate nice life when looking out the windows. Then I realize it sucks. Then I think about dragons and wizards. Yeah, dragons and wizards. Like most things in Krush, it is out of order. <coughs> and like most things in Krush, it is probably extremely dangerous. Yes, it stays out of order. Space dust, probably? Is this space Potentially? dust? Oh, it's just piles and piles of little papers with dead jokes on them. One says, Oh boy. I am a dad. I am responsible for my children and being witty. This is too much stress and responsibility for me to handle. 
I'm not sure whoever wrote these understands how jokes work. <laughs> This space. Oh, this one says, I am a timers and this not. Oh, I was hoping I there'd be a bunch. Bad jokes aren't a I have yet to father a child to necessitate taking this. Or have I? De definitely not. Not because I am completely infertile or anything, I am just socially incompetent. <laughs> Got some kind of vending machine or something going on over here? I've seen my fair share of genetically enhanced talking octopodes, but one that is an apathetic retail cashier? It is truly an honor to experience this. Hello? Welcome to Hiroshi's Corner, your friendly local drug dealing vending machine. We get <laughs> you really high, and please don't die. Unless you have signed the appropriate paperwork. Ask me about super crack. What well, we gotta ask about super, super crack. crack. Unlike regular crack, super crack gives you superpowers. What kind of superpowers? After eating super crack, you get super euphoria. Isn't that just like uh, regular crack? No, not according to our lawyers, anyway. We also own the rights to super super crack. What about super super crack? That's something really special. Gets you high for six months straight. The hallucinations and psychosis from sleep deprivation alone is worth it. If you want it, I need at least three forms of ID, your life insurance number, and a high-res photo of your ankle. Why the last part? I'll be totally honest. I don't need the photo. I just like to see how far I can go before customers notice what I ask for. You'd be surprised. I own at least three human souls. Ah, uh, let's see. I'd like to purchase some drugs, please. Certainly, sir. What drugs were you looking for? Space dust, please. Please take your super fun, cool drug enthusiast tokens and place them in the correct slot on the right. And remember, we get you really high, and please don't die. I don't have any tokens with unnecessarily long names. <laughs> All right, well, just get a super fun, cool drug enthusiast token from the blob of flesh over there, and then you can get some drugs. Now, please, can you leave me to my entitled apathy? I'll come back later. All right. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. So you too. To... I'll try to make the best out of eternal slavery. Looks like it's been done by an anti Warhol clone. A literal clone, that is. But Shinsuke didn't really have much when it came to culture, so they just cloned celebrities to counteract that. I like how it's like normalized, 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 slightly larger eyes. It's your compulsory tools. Day 54 of being a drug dealer. This sucks. I have yet to have a critically acclaimed TV show of my life. I have no money, no women, no power. At least I got the sweet shirt. It's like cotton, but not. I don't even know what it is. The main thing is it's not a sweaty mess, which I think was a big limiting part on the whole money, women, and power thing. All right. Oh, look, there's a controller. We have a controller. Maybe he's gonna to want to play video games with us and we have to beat him or sure something. What the point of the smaller one is. Maybe it's to make the large one look even bigger. Kind of like when you shave the hedges. <coughs> oh my. Oh X2. my. I oh my. A poop Jeez. sonic! The downside is that it emits radiation causing infertility. I better talk to the drug dealer. Hey, look, it's a Mega Bro Avoid Reality System. Never has escapism been so satisfying. Something about this is wrong, but uh, I don't think a social movement exists for this yet. <laughs> hey, a war pipe. I've always wondered what it's like inside. Jesus, 
I don't want to know anymore. Uh, <laughs> That's hey, amazing. Always... Oh shoot. Oh Jesus! I don't. All right, let's talk to the drug dealer. Hello, drug silly man. Hello. Insert name here. Refer to their name if you can. It allows you to connect on a more friendly, personal level. What? Oh, I'm just trying out some techniques I read in an audiobook. That is a goofy looking can dude. Can I buy some space dust now? I think I've gone through enough. Well, if you have <coughs> a thousand Krush marks, I can give you the token for the vending machine over there. Oh my word. I don't have the cash for that. Also, token? Super fun, cool drug enthusiast drug tokens. The official currency for the vending machine. No space dust for you. But tough biddies. Is there uh, anything else I can do? I can bake a mean cupcake that will blow your mind. All right. No one ever buys from me anyway, so I'll play you for it. Yes? If mm -hmm. you can beat my game's high score, I'll give you a super fun, cool drug enthusiast drug token. Uh, what game is that? Prepare your body. It's the most brutal, unforgiving game ever developed. An underground classic sought by collectors everywhere. Behold! <laughs> Damn it! It's not working. Hold on. God damn piece of shit ruining my finely crafted atmosphere. I'm never buying floor stock again. Activate cartridge blow. <laughs> I just noticed the guys on roller skates, the Guy sitting on. What is it about? Try it for yourself. Grab that controller over there. All right. Oh, dude, Ross, this controller is all sticky and only leads to one side. I can't play with this. Uh, that's what C said. <laughs> Isn't it what she said? <laughs> yeah, and my online comedian degree is a scam. Who thought you could get full-fledged degrees in three days and only at the price of full control of my life insurance? Bargain. Next week is a Seamfield masterclass. Anyway, you're stuck with the guest controller. Deal with it. Oh man, I can't deal with this. I'll need another controller. Uh. Alright, well we already got one. So that's easy peasy. Man, guess only controllers are such bullshit. Hey, drug dealer. There's your self-respect on the roof. What? Let's play this thing. All right, All boosting right, thugs. <clears throat> oh boy. Boosting thugs. Oh my god, I love the music. We got a guy with a knife and a guy with like a wand. Girl, those are super cute boots. Dude, nice shirt. Is it new? Natasha is locked, so we gotta play Duder. Yeah, boy! Time to bust some thug heads with positive reinforcement. Before they know it, they'll have a mortgage and be in a low. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh my god, okay, welcome to Boostin' Thugs. B, Z, and X. Press the letter Z to jump. Yes! X to punch. Dope. These don't help you at all in this game, although it will help keep your cardio up, thus your cholesterol down. Your mission is to boost thugs, self esteem with compliment. Go practice on that sandwich over there. Yo, sandwich dude, looking delicious. That salami, I'm impressed. You'd be at least $20 a local deli. Good job, man. Blood is so nutritious. Good job. Uh oh. Doesn't seem very boosted. Uh oh. Jeez. 
Cheers, Tutor. Thug boosted. Do I have to... Dank pipes. Give me all your mana or prepare to die. Tubular. Uh oh. I wanna move over, I wanna punch him. Aw. I guess I really can't. Alright. Nice shades, dude. Is that designer? You could tell you have a better than average salary. I bet your staff has plus 10 to being a cool guy. Nice one. Oh, is that magic? You could probably have your own TV show or something, or at least cosplay at a con. You're basically a celebrity. Thanks, bro. I think I need to reevaluate this whole street thug career thing. Oh, yeah, we're good at... We're good at boosting thugs. I'm sorry, goblin dude. I hope you... We feel better soon. A hot dog machine? Hey kid, wanna hail some Satan? <laughs> Will it boost his self esteem? <laughs> yeah, I guess it would never thought of it that way. Oh yes, let's do it. Hail Satan. <laughs> Surprise you dweeb, give me all your lo-fi recording equipment. Oh sorry, hey Peter. Hey, Asbjorn. All right, let's 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 hail some, okay. Sweet guitar, dude. I bet you could start a one-man black metal band and have a small but loyal following. I saw that lightning thing. Cool, being able to control the elements must look awesome, would look awesome on a resume. Nice makeup. You could probably make a solid career of that, or at least a semi-successful internet show. Well, uh, I never considered that. It's always been my dream, but I didn't think it was a viable career option. Well, then thanks, Duder. Back to the depths of hell to get my makeup supplies. Peace. Level boosted. Oh, I leveled up. Oh, man, I'm a shark. Who are those uh, street sharks? Input password using Z and X or press B to exit. Oh, yes. I boosted the hell out of those thugs. Yeah, you did pretty well. Only 34,123 levels to go. What? Really? I don't have time for this. I have actual stuff to do. I don't believe you. Uh, true. Still. Still, <laughs> no space dust. I'm Altis. Hmm. Psst. I think I can help you be boosting thugs. Yeah? Legends say that there is a mythical code to beat any Mega Bro game. Like a Konami code? For legal reasons, no. Well, how can I get it? It's said to be lost to time and space. Forever. Mm. Yeah, sick. That's great help. Let me finish, Jesus! There are whisperings that it can be found lost in electromagnetic waves. Thanks, I think. Uh, can I have a better hint? That's all I can say. Thank you. I will ponder this riddle and achieve success. Why are you helping me get free space stuff? I just really hate the drug dealer, to be honest. Boosting thugs. Oh, it's even on the little TV. I'm not the kind of like. Hmm. Lost in electromagnetic waves. Have I found it? I feel like I've maybe found it already. Where have I encountered electromagnetic waves? Hmm. It's 
so cool. Back. One is sick, the third. Let's check out. I don't think it was any of these, right? Oh, wait, look. I know. Because the buttons were Z and X. Company that brought you such as Boosting Thugs, Zeldario Zany, Man X Zone. ZZ XZ. Oh, that was like. I went straight to it. Okay. Uh, ZZ XZ. Let's try that. Love those tunes, though. ZZ XZ. Let's try that. Boosting thugs. Totally cheated. Some Konami code bullshit. Come on, man. A deal is a deal. Oh, god damn it. Here, my last super drug enthusiast token. By the way, some big guy was looking for you. Super nice. Apparently wanted to dissect you for some reason or another. You're only telling me this no. now. To be honest, I'm just super stressed about how I'm going to pay the bank back for all those high interest loans for all this gear. Alright, we got a super awesome tokeny thingy. Super fun awesome drug token 2026. It's a it's like a super happy bong. Free drugs. I'm living the dream. One space dust, please. Aw, oh, clinically smooth taste. Enjoy your space dust. And not, you know, die horrible death. Hey, all right. Oh. Damn. Uh oh. Where is he? Oh. No. You better not be dead. Why did you have to pass out now? Wait a second. No. You mean you were sitting on the box of these the whole time? Really? Yeah, it's good to see you so have motor functions, judging by the twitch of your leg. Now let's go save Kurush from inevitable destruction. At least for a little bit longer, so I can make some beatsies. Beatsies! No, not in the space of... Okay, I can't... I literally can't even interact with them at all. Uh, alright. Well, uh, let's look through this, I guess. You had the full box of them this whole time? If he wakes up... I am done with him. If I get back and return me out of the house to hook up with some biddies, I swear to DJ Jesus I will make Internet Explorer the default web browser and wave a magnet over his hard drive. Oof, that's rough. Oh shit, look at this guy. No! Doug! Oh no, Doug! What did they do to you? Birdine. Come close. I have Jesus. one blessed bit. No, Doug. Save your energy. We need to get you to a hospital. Better than. I've always considered you my best friend. I owe you this one less. <laughs> no! Doug. I will avenge you. Hey, man, don't look at me. Shit. Oh man, you asshole. You faked your own death to avoid paying rent? Maybe. That's the last time I have a heartfelt moment for you. Supposedly dying Doug. It's the worst tenant you will ever see. A mid-tier new show ought to make an average but entertaining story out of him. You'd end up watching it just because you couldn't be bothered changing the channel. 
sure is blocking my way. That constant bopping is making me nervous. <coughs> Why the incessant bopping? Jeez. <laughs> the way he talks like makes it I don't know, it, it, it weirds me out. Uh, what are you doing? Well, interesting. More specifically, what you're doing here? What is a prodigy child? That's uh, pretty rough. Yeah, well, anyway, this one is free. Let's talk up, dogs need to get back for whatever reason. So, then I am. Uh, what does he look like? All I got wrong, his name is Ben Rodan. The most ugly bad looking book is useful on the big in my head. Oof. That's harsh. He said that he grew because of on his ugly face. Go crazy and eat their own feet. See you some time. Oh my God, who not do so? I guess I'm ready to talk a little bit of any way, not be the chum why they got me to do this now. Who can call it a bad man? No, I'm certainly not in keeping my eye out for a minute of water, a great nut on this regular water chin. Something wrong. Uh. Nothing. Just remembered some fictional character I'd be more upset about dying than most people. Ah, well, if you see the different world of each other, call up your own. You'll just let me through. Not really. I'm probably you talk about who is going to make war. Nothing at all? Look, a 300 bucky. What if I serviced you? <laughs> uh, do you have any hopes and dreams you want to fulfill? I'd write you a love song. What if I asked you like this? Can you let me through? Essentially or incoherently? What if I asked you like this? Hmm. Don't you have any hopes and dreams you want to fulfill? To be honest, to do what the edge line was never really my damn I always wanted to go back to my water roots and be caught by someone, maybe a celebrity or something. My better house will probably be bit murky. I'll say that just a lot. Why don't you? Tim's legit. Not sure to be honest. I just know that I ever kind of got fucked up. What if I told you? Time to put boosting oh. thugs to good use. I was say, boosting thugs? Ready. Boost. <laughs> boosting thugs. I bet you contain so much fluoride. You're like a magical shield for teeth. You have the most majestic bop I've ever seen now. Wait. You're looking 
pretty good today. Doctor Nathan, you really believe that? Yeah, of course. Oh man, I <laughs> I feel a little bad for the guy. He just sort of dribbled out onto the ground. That was pretty amazing. Meanwhile, just teleport him into the offices. Come on, dude. You know Mr. Yorpodoskovasaki doesn't work well under aggressive management. Did you know, without Paradigm, we can't fix the others. And without fixing the others, Dupe Genetics goes into the red. When we go into the red, Mr. Yorpodoskovasaki doesn't get his paycheck. Then, Mr. Yorpodoskovasaki can't pay for his subscription to Kawaii Cats Online. Oh, dude. Don't bring Hawaii cats into this. That is my life. Regardless, this machine is janky as hell. Bob from accounting is still inside out from the last test. He had a body pillow who loved him very much. Now, not so much. Teleport him into the offices! Why not the dungeon? The other faulty prodigy children are there. I don't want a revolution on my hands. Just do what I say! All right! Jesus, dude. Bit vibes. Are you sure that's how it works? Excuse me. I think I know a little bit more about matter decompilers than you. I'm the scientist here. Uh -oh. oh, yes. So goddamn pumped. Finally, time to make some fat beatsies, play some epic music. For Davo. Always looking forward to a third apocalypse. Maybe some mutated mole could replace you. I imagine it would have far more personality. Mold the adventure game. Now that dream is taken away. I'm going to ignore oh, that you John. said that, and let's boot up this bad boy. Yeah, well, wait a minute. Now that I can do it, I don't really feel like it. Come on, mate, this happens every time. Can't really force inspiration, man. I guess I might as well browse endlessly and discover fetishes I never realized I had. <laughs> what the hell was that? Jesus Christ! I've got three bitty <laughs> Man, that was really weird. I think it's over. Nope. Oh, jeez! Oh my god. <laughs> Bloody hell. They were just bots. I knew it was too good to be true. I should have caught on when they asked me for my credit card number. Is there a... Was there a sign for, like, Act 1? I feel like there was, like, a... Where am I? Welcome to the multiverse. Here, you are one with each of your multidimensional forms. Ugh. Ow. It hurts. Hey, it's not so bad the second time. Who are you? Is there a manager for this multiverse? Because if there is, I am going to have to speak to him. I, uh... I... I guess I'm technically the manager. Damn it, you messed up my spiel. I'm going to start again. I am the all-seeing keeper of the multiverse. 
My ultimate purpose is to tell you... Tell me what? Just shut up for a second. You... You are the chosen one. <laughs> it's like claymation. <clears throat> Wait, really? Do I get any powers? Are you sure? Last time I was told I was the chosen one, they wanted my credit card number. No! <laughs> what I did to you was what us multiverse keepers call, in the biz, rustling jimmies. <laughs> People Wrestling Jimmies. the multiverse from messing around with teleportation. We just like to mess with people's heads. You aren't the chosen one. You do have a semi-important part, though. The actual chosen one is a way cooler 25 to 35 year old black-haired male with a gruff voice. Anyway, your time is up. Peace. Wait, can I ask you something else before I go? Uh, yeah, I, I guess. Do dogs uh. have internal monologues? The answer is... Yes? <laughs> oh, we'll never know. And I love this job. That shit never gets old. There's some legs over there. It's, it's very lewd. Damn it. I was this close to knowing the answer to life's greatest question. Welcome to my dungeon. You are now my prisoner for eternity. Forever tormented by the thing that once gave you refreshment. Now only providing you with never-ending pain. Ugh, deja vu. Oh well then, almighty tormentor. Speaking of refreshing beverages, my throat is quite parched, as I presumably was split into a million pieces and transported through time and space. Can I trouble you for one? Silence! My refreshing days are over. Bow down to the eternal sound of the forever restarting refrigerator motor. May it be a reminder of your sins. <laughs> <laughs> I love all these things. How to harness Satan to get sales. Never have I heard such a horrifying sound. Yeah? Just wait till you're just about to fall asleep. And this bad boy kicks in. You're gonna be so irritated. I will be sure to heed that warning, water cooler of doom. I'm glad you're starting to show some respect. If you're lucky, I'll let you lick my nipple nozzles. Do you really have oh to call them that? Well, if you can think of a better name for them, I'm all ears. Tips? Ugh, the hell? A sick man paradigm. Sick! I got to get out of this office prison room thing. All right, well, here we are. We're stuck in... Well, I don't I guess some sort of office slash prison. Uh, but we'll have to wait till next time to figure out how to get out of here, so... Uh, I think that'll be more than enough to call a video. That was a lot of fun. Um, had some crazy stuff happening today. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the enjoyed the vid. Hope you're enjoying the LP. Uh, if you are and you feel like it, you can drop a comment or hit the like button or hit subscribe. If not, no worries. Hope uh, hope hope either way. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Until next time, take care, flesh broccolis.